Hello, my name is Gina Ramirez and the article that I chose was Teaching Vocabulary to Young Second or Foreign Language Learner. And this article was written by Yuko Goto Butler and it was published uh, just recently in March 2019 by the Language Teaching for Young Learners. And what this article was, what it focused on, was the uh, development of vocabulary to second language learners. So, it started out by saying that some reports have even indicated that the effect of vocabulary knowledge on reading comprehension is greater for young second language or foreign language learners. So what it's saying is that the second language learners have the advantage on learning new vocabulary. And little research has been done thus far on young language learners. Most of the research research that has been done has been on adults, so it's hard to understand. Um, this article was broken down in three section, three sections. The first section was about the basics mechan mechanisms of vocabulary learners, and it also identifies the possible differences and similarities between young second language and foreign language and first language learners, as well as between children and adult second language and foreign language learners. So the so the first section was about how a child with more exposure to the bilingual and multilingual cultures and households have the advantage. Um, the second section of this article identifies and it, it describes major instructional methods that has that have been found to be effective in assisting children with second language and foreign language vocabulary. So, um, they found that using multi-model approach to learning vocabulary was the most effective way for teaching vocabulary. That is like a different way besides like the standard paper and pencil it's learning vocabulary through through music and through songs through pictures um the final section it identifies what is missing in our current understanding of vocabulary teaching to young learners and in its suggested areas for further research and instruction. So like I said, little research has been done with children. Most of the research that has been done has been done with the adults.